हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संकेत अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेबल व्यू इम्प्लीमेंटेशन नाउ टेबल व्यू इट्स अ मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट कंट्रोल ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट्स नाउ वट इज टेबल व्यू how to use it how to implement in your applications so now let's see in the practical basics so now here i'm creating one new excel projects you create a single new application write down your projects name it means your application name so now here i'm creating as a table view then click on create now first of the what is table view how to use it so now a table view is a view that present data using rows arrange in a single column okay now in android you have to say as a list view so now in list view and table view both are same okay now table view is on ios display a single column of a vertical scrolling content okay now divided into different different rows so now how to use it how to design a table view on your storyboard so now let's design first so now here i am changing first background color now go to your control library you can see there are the different types of options of the table view so now first it's table view controller it means it's a ready made view with a table control now here we have a view controller so now at a time you can use a table view control now if you want to modify if you want to generate a custom cell means if you want to design your own cell at a time you can use table view cell but here i am using first as a table view so now simply just drag and drop on your screen okay now you have to modify your table view height and width also as per your requirement so now simply just spread it now without table view the application is not possible okay now you have to use it a uh, somewhere okay for example here you can see some example of the table view so now your all setting application is based on the table view so now you can see this is the table view okay now most of the applications are designed with the table view because table view it's a very important controls for the application development so now whenever you use a table view our first priority is to bind a data source and the delegate outlet because it's a required for the table view implementation now let's see the important property of the table view so now here you can see it's a content first property so now the default content it's a dynamic prototype now in between you have to also select a static cell it means whenever you want to design your own cell okay at a time you can use this option but right now just keep it okay i am using it's a dynamic now you can see the second pro property is prototype cells so now here you can see there are the value of 3 so now you can see total 3 blank rows are there but here i am using a default table view so now using a zero row okay now then after you can see the next property as a style so now here there are two different styles are there it means plain and group by default plain if you want in a section mode okay now in single table view if you want a different different section at a time you can use this style as a group but here i am using only as a plain style then after it's a separator so now there are so many separator are there it's a default none single line single line so now actually this separator is in between two cell okay so now whenever you use 
a different different separator as per your requirement using this property now you have to also change the separator line color so now default it's a transparent black white then after you have to use the next property as per requirement it's a separate inset so now automatic and whenever you use as a custom so now you can change your table role means it's a leading and the trailing space it's a padding of your table use spacing okay but right now it's not required so now here i'm using it's a automatically okay so now these are the important property of the table view now before we are implementing you have to noted that property as per implementation okay so now let's try to implement first so now in table view i'm display means i have to present some data on table view like that for example here you can see your setting menu so now this is your table view so now you can see each and every cell consists a different different title like as general privacy password and accounts maps safari etc you have to also see particular cell icon okay so now here these are the table view now let's try to implement first so now here i am presenting some data on our table view so i am creating one array as a string type okay now before we implementing the table view let's try to implement your array element in your view did load so now here i am implementing some elements of your data array so now for example here i am implementing different different technologies like is android java python then php then angular then node okay so now these are the elements of our data array okay so now actually there are the total seven elements are there okay now let's try to implement a table view okay so now whenever you use a table view at a time we have to required some table view methods okay so now how to use a table view method so now here you have to implement first a table view protocol so now there are the two different protocol of the table view first is ui table view data source and second is ui table view delegates okay so now different different methods are belongs to data source and delegate prototype but here our table implementation some data source methods are required so now you have to see this error now just click on and the fix so now you can see these are the required method of the table view okay now let's try to implement then after view did load so now the our first method is number of rows in section okay it means how many row you want in your table view so now using this method now second method is cell for row at index path it means whenever you design your table view means how many different types of row a design with a different types of data okay on table view so now at a time you can use this method it means cell for row now let's try to implement our first method so now this method is written as an integer value so now method is number of rows in section okay now again number of row it means how many row you want on table view so now according to my data array so now here i am pass 
your data dot count okay it means in your array there are seven elements so now here in your table view i am creating a total data dot count it means according to your array element here created a different different seven row okay now let's try to print this data on your table cell so now at a time you can use this method cell for row at index part now here you can see this method is returning a ui table view cell class okay so now whenever you access your table cell means table row at a time you have to use this class so now let's try to create i am creating one object of the ui table view cell okay here i am using this class using this object it's a cell now this class containing one method okay it's a style so now here you have to use a different types of style of your cell so now there are four different types of st styles it's a default subtitle value one and value two now let's try to implement one by one as a practical base so now here i'm using as a default now view as a defier so now it's a optional so now here i'm using it's a nil now i'm use means i'm print this elements on your table cell so now how to print it so now using your cell object so now cell dot text label dot text okay so now here one labels are there okay it's a text label it's a default label from your table cell now on this label i am printed your data array according to your index so now here i am using index path dot row now index path it's a argument of this method so now here i am using a different different index according to your array element for example on your zero number cell i want a zero index element it means ios now i want a second element on my second index of my cell so now at a time you can use index path dot row then after you have to return your table view cell objects so simple it's a return cell okay so now this is the simple implementation of table view now let's try to check your application the see the output so run your application and now just hold it your application is on the way so now here i'm implementing a simple table view with a sample data okay using data array elements and now that elements are printed on our table view so now you can see okay this is the table view okay now here we have created a different different rows according to your array elements so now using this method it means number of row in section then after we have to print that array elements on your table cell so now at a time you can use a cell for row at index path okay now let's try to implement one another array like description okay so now here i am also print a description according to your first array so now for example this is your heading part and now here i am implementing i am creating as a description part so now let's try to implement as a description element according to your heading part so now for example ios so now it's a for example apple inc now for example for the android so now google from sorry android from the google 
now java from sun microsystem and the python so python is a most popular language then after for the php so now php it's a open source then after angular so it's a javascript framework and now the node it's a powerful javascript framework okay so now this is your heading part and this is your description part so now how to use it means how to print on a same table cell okay so now for the description we have one another text label it's called detail text label so now here i'm using detail text label dot text on this label i am using your description array and now here you can use it's a index part dot row okay now let's try to check run your application and see the output your description array is on printed or not on your table cell so now let's see yeah there is no effect why so here i am using your table view cell style as a default okay now whenever you use a different text label on a table cell it means it's a part of the heading or description at a time you can use as a subtitle okay now if you want as a different different array element on a single array sorry single table cell at a time you can use a table view cell style as a subtitle so now you can see okay this is your heading part it's from data array the this is your description part it's from the description array so now according to your heading and description whenever you use this type of array element at a time you have to use table cell style as a subtitle now here for example i am using a value 1 style okay so now let's see the output of value 1 okay so now you can use also this type this style of the table cell so now you can see the output okay your heading array is printed as the left side and your description array is always printed with a right side so now this is the value 1 now here i am using value 2 style okay now let's see again so run your application and check the output so now here i am using table view shell style as a value 2 so now see okay now this is the value 2 style okay now you can use a different different table size as per your requirement so now here i am using as a subtitle now in this table again let's try to implement some advance with image now here i am printed a uh, different different logos different different icons according to your array means table cell so now here again i am creating one image array and now according to this array here i am implementing your image so now first how to use image array okay so now whenever you use a image in your application at a time that image is available in your project okay so now first you have to add some image so now using this option add option now here i am using uh, images so now here on desktop here for example this is my image now just add it okay so now you can see 
okay here i am adding some image now let's try to implement using different different image array so now here i am creating image array as a string type so now how to use so now you can use your image array with your image name for example here your first image double a dot png then after double b dot png that after double c dot png then after double d dot png double e dot png double f dot png double g dot png now let's check first your actual array elements are so suppose one two three four five six seven okay now total there are these seven error elements so now according to your data and description array you have to mention your image array okay so now here i am using one two three four five six seven otherwise your array index is out of bound okay now here i am using one image array now how to use on your table cell so now here you have to use using your cell objects dot so now cell dot image view dot image now always image view class it's written with dot image property now on this image view i am using this image so now simply you have to use your image array and then index path dot row but see here i am passing a string image okay so now you can see the error cannot assign a value of string to type ui image because your ui image type is dot image but here your image array is a string so now here i am converting your string into ui image so now here i am using ui image class with this method it means name so now here pass your image array so now my image array name is img and then index path dot row okay so now here i am converting your string image into dot image using ui image class now run your application and check this output so now here i am implementing your table view with image so now you can see okay your cell means each and every cell consists a uh, different different images okay so now here on single cell i am implementing a three different types of array okay it means first it's a data array so now data is for the heading now second it's a description so now description array is used for the description and i am using it's a img means image array for the image icon for the each and every cell okay so now this is the cell now here again i am designing your cell with accessory okay so now how to add means how to design a different different accessory on your table cell so now here we have one property as a cell dot accessory type now how many different types of accessories are there so now you can see it's a check mark detail button detail disclosure button disclosure indicator and no okay for example here i'm using dot check mark now let's check now run your application and see the output okay what is accessory so now i am implementing your cell means i am designing your cell with the check mark so now this is the accessory now here you can see the check mark each and every cell now here i am using a detail button accessory so now what is the use of detail button and how to show and implement with a accessory as a detail button now again run your application and see the output so now this is the detail button so now you can use a different different accessory as per your requirement now here i am also use a detailed disclosure button so now again this is a different accessory so now here 
I am designing your cell with detail disclosure button. Now let's see the output. Okay, so now you can see there are two different accessories. Now this is your detail button and this is the indicator. So now at a time, whenever you use uh, this tile, you can use a detail disclosure button. Now here, I am using also disclosure indicator. Okay, so now disclosure indicator to present a single arrow style on your table cell so now this is the disclosure indicator okay as per your requirement as per your designing right here's concept you can use a different different accessory using cell dot accessory type okay so now here i am using i am implementing the simple table view using a two required method one is number of row in section and now cell for row at index part okay so now let's try to implement some optional method of the table view for example here i am implementing with a did select row so now actually this method is from the ui table view delegate okay you have to also check so now just select the protocol jump to definition now you can see the method it's a did select row on this file okay now whenever you use any method okay otherwise you have to also search here did select row yeah you can see okay you have to also search here using command f option so now you have to use any method okay so now here i am implementing this method so now what is the use of this method so now according to name so did select row so now whenever you select any table cell at a time whatever you want you have to implement in between so now here i am implementing one alert okay so now whenever you select any row at a time your selected cell data i have i want a alert means as a pop up so now here i am implementing alert so now here i am implementing alert controller now as a title so now here i want title as well as message according to your cell selection okay so now i want a title from a data array and the message from the description array according to your cell selection so now how to use it so now here i am using title with a data so now i am using a selected row data so now i am using as a index part dot row now message from the description array now i am also using the description array dot index path dot row now prefers time so i want as a alert now let's create one button in your alert view so you have to use ui alert action and now here my button title is okay now style so now i'm i want a red button so i'm using as a destructive style and then i don't want any handler so i'm using as a nil now i'm add your button so now alert dot add action and just passed your button objects and then present your alert using your present method now animated always true and completion always nil okay so now here i am implementing one alert code okay so now this code is executed whenever you select any row from the table view okay now let's check run your application and see the output so you have to select any row from this table view your alert has been pop up so now see okay i am selecting your first row so now on this first row the data mention it's ios and the apple inc so now your title and message of your alert so now here i am using as a directly your array elements using your selected value it means 
here I'm using index path dot row whenever you select any row for example I'm selecting angular I'm selecting node I'm selecting Python okay so now this is the did select raw method okay now this method is implemented according to your requirement okay so now this is the optional method for the table view now let's try to implement another optional method here i am using commit editing style so now what is the use of this method so now you can see first okay this function is a void okay so now because this function is not written any types of value now before we implementing let's see the output okay, what's are the uh, on your table view using the commit editing style so now let's see any changes are there here no so now for the commit editing style whenever you swipe your table cell okay so now you can see the delete button okay so now this delete button means this functionality is from this method means commit editing style okay so now using this delete button okay i am deleted a selected cell okay so now how to delete it so now simply on your table cell so now your table cell is containing a different different array okay so now whenever you use this method you have to remove your array element so now remove first is a, your first array it means so now here i am using your array method it's a remove add so now remove add it means write down your selected cell index so now how to get it so now here you have to use index path dot row okay now on cell actually there are three different array now data then description okay so now here you have to also remove your description array okay and now you have to also remove your image array and then index path dot row okay so now here i am implementing this method using this functionality now let's see now run your application your cell is removed or not okay so now using this method commit editing style okay you have to remove your cell so now here i am click on this button delete okay but you can see there is no any effect are there okay now again okay but see okay you can see one fatal error okay so error is index out of range so now the reason is your array element is removed but then after your table is not refreshing so now how to refresh your table view okay so now your table view dot reload data okay so now whenever you use any operation in runtime like as add element remove element update element then after you have to refresh your table data okay it using table view dot reload data method okay now again let's see the output and check again your table view cell so now here i'm using commit editing style so now you can see i am removing a second cell okay so now you can see okay your cell has been removed okay so now here i am using a commit editing style so now this method is remove your table cell now according to this method we have one another method okay for example here i am using edit action for raw okay now actually this method is used to create your own button on cell swiping okay now according to commit editing style so now here your commit editing and edit action row 
both are the same but here the actual difference between commit editing style method is provided only single button as a delete but if you want more than one button on cell swiping so now at a time you can use this method using edit action for row okay so now how to implement it so now first i am creating a button on your cell okay whenever you swipe okay so now you have to use this class okay ui table view row action so now here for example i am creating one button so using ui table view row action class okay now this class consists one method so now here you have to set your button style so now there are three different styles are there as a default normal and destructive so now here default and normal both are the same it means it's returning a normal gray color okay default and normal destructive is is always as it is as a red color so now here i am using as a default title it means your button title so now here i am using as a add now handler so now what is the handler now here i am implementing as a handler it means whenever you click on your add button at a time whatever you want so now how to implement it so now here i am using as a action in okay so now i am creating one button now you have to create any button means you have to create more than one button on your table cell using this method so now here i am using means i am creating another button so now i am just copy and paste now here i am change my button objects so now for example i am creating second button so now here i am changing button title as a update here i am changing button title as a delete now here i am using button style as a normal here and now here i am using button style as a destructive okay now in temporary here let's see i am committing this method okay because i am creating my own button on table cell so it's a add update and delete now you can see this method is returning a ui table view row action okay in array okay so now you can see the braces so now here i am returning your button objects in array format because it's a collection so now here your add then your update and your delete okay here i am creating the different types of button there are three but i am not implementing yet in between the action because it's a optional now let's see the output so run your application and uh, you can see the what is the use of this method it's a edit action for row okay so now whenever you swipe any cell so now you can see okay you have to created a three different button add update and delete so now you can see your add and update okay your add and update and delete okay according to button you have to mention a different different style so now you can see the default and destructive style okay both are in red color and your normal style in a gray color okay so now your every cell is containing the three three button add update and delete now if you want to change the button background color so now you have to also change using this method so your button objects dot means add dot background so now for using any color so now we have one class it's a ui color for example here i am using as a purple and now for the update i am changing update background color so now here background color is equals to ui color dot here i am using as a orange 
now delete is as it is in a red red format so now let's try to check again here i'm changing your add and update button color so now using background color property so now let's see the output okay so now you can see your add button has been changed with the purple your delete sorry update button has been changed with the orange and the delete is as it is because i am using as a destructive method okay so now this is the use of the edit action for raw okay so now here i am using a uh, so many methods of the table view so now here i am using number of row in section here i am using did select row here i am using select cell for row at index part here i am using edit style here i am using edit action for row okay so now you can use a different different method of the table view according to your requirement okay so now this is the normal table view for the application development now again guys it's remember it table view is it's a very important topics very important parts of the application development so now here i am using table view with a different different method okay so now this is the table view thank you